good afternoon guys so it's 409 we're gonna go ahead and get going for the day do a short four to six hour shift got the family with us again today guys we're going on our first order already we're gonna be at tequilas six dollars i think it's at three miles going to the southeast side of town where there's no stores unfortunately but uh we're gonna go ahead and get going make some money let's go all right well tequilas have like a five minute wait unfortunately but we got our food we got our cold item here let's get it delivered Five guys run our next order at CVS. Just a one item pickup for three dollars and seventy-five cents. Figured we could get it done pretty quick. It's only going a block or two from here. Oh somehow we managed to spend freaking four minutes in there, dude. Oh god. I had to substitute it for a different item. Because I couldn't find they wanted the three pack like CVS brand kits and they didn't I couldn't find them I don't know. Well, they didn't want to answer the door, so I set it down, took a photo, texted it to them, and said thanks. Bye-bye. Alright, it's 4.59, guys. We just got our next offer on DoorDash again. $19, I think it said 11 miles or something like that, for a Thai D going southeast of Marion. So we're going to go pick this up real quick. Anytime you see digits like that, man, that order's looking good. As we just pulled up, so inside, see how long we're gonna have to wait. It'd be nice if it's a walk in, walk out with 19 bucks. All right, guys, not bad for 19 bucks. We end up having to wait three minutes. I can wait three minutes for 19 bucks any day, guys. So, get this zipped up real quick and get going. Yeah, that's right, buddy. This is the Ditto House. Every Christmas, they put out a Christmas decoration that says Ditto. That did not show. Well, it's 5.51, guys. We had to stop at the house so a little man could go to the bathroom. And then we turned our dash back on, and it gave me a 6.75, two- or three-mile, eight-item shop and deliver. I ended up uh, declining it because I didn't want to get held up for, like, 15 minutes with that. And then I immediately get this Logan's order for $17, 11 miles. But I had to decline that because I am banned from Logan's because they caught me filming in there, guys. Like, you can't be filming... You can't be filming trying to be a YouTuber in Logan's. So, <laughs> I had to decline that order, and then we got a 950 at Mandrino's, which is like some ghost kitchen thing that they do at O'Charlie's. So, we're going to head over there, pick this one up instead. Apparently, my son filled his shoe with uh, the quarters from my wife's little coin purse. 555 guys let's head inside our order it's not seventeen dollars but at least it's nine dollars Bad 
bag came right at me, guys. You saw it. No self-defense. Alright, 613, guys. We just got a random one here on Grubhub. It says $24, 22 miles. We're going to head to Carbondale, pick up Rowie's and uh, Hunan Restaurant and drop both off at uh, two different customers. Well, that works for me. I'm going to be heading towards this. You know, I didn't get my $17 Logan's, but at least this makes up for it. All right, 627, guys. We just arrived at the Hunan. Let's head inside. See if our order's ready. By the time I took the drive here, it should be. Alright guys, they had it ready and waiting on the table when I got in there. Let's go pick up our other order. It has us delivering one of these in Carbondale, but the other one it has us going back to like Carterville to deliver it. So back towards where we came from. Alright guys, just across the street and down the block. Almost couldn't even get over in time, freaking so much traffic. Well, it took me to this building. There is no delivery instructions, no apartment number, nothing. At least I can match the first part of the address to what's on this building here, so I know I'm at the right building. Building D. I don't even know if that's the right. Alright, you know what? It actually was right inside the door. I thought it was part of the address, but it was the bill, the apartment number. For some reason, they're just in the thousands, even though it's a first floor. I mean, whatever, dude. I don't know how Carbondale designs these buildings. I don't know what dictates how they do this stuff, because first floor, and it starts at a thousand. Alright, guys. Well, after I... Got off here last time I got out of my car and went ahead and zipped this bag up for the drive, so don't judge me, I kept it as long as I could. You know guys, I just got an offer for $7.7 seven miles at McDonald's in Heron, but my app went crazy, and it was like, doom, da -doom, da -doom, da -doom, super loud, and it made me think it was going to be a really good order, but then it was actually just $7.7 seven miles, so I was just like, you know what? Screw you. And I declined it. <laughs> Alright guys, it's 7.07. Like I said, we declined that McDonald's order of $7.07 seven miles going to Heron. And then uh, we were about to turn left to head towards Marion. And it gave us an $8, 10 mile order going to Carbondale. And it's like, dude, I didn't decline a 7 for 7 to get an 8 for 10. So I'm going to go ahead and decline that too, just out of spite and pity. Or pettiness, I guess I should say. And uh, then after I turned left, started heading towards Mary, and I actually did get a better order finally, which was 13 almost $14 for, I think I said 7 or 8 miles going to Marion at Chop Kitchen. So, a better order. We're going to go towards this one. Well, it should be a pretty easy pickup and drop off. I'm looking at it. I almost thought I was dropping it off at Chop Kitchen as well, which would be, make no sense, but I have had a Red Lobster order in the past that was like that. <laughs> I've had a Hardee's order like that too, actually. But uh, no, it's actually going to the hotel that's adjacent to the Chop Kitchen building. So I'm not going far. Not going far at all. Alright, 7.15 guys. We're at Chop Kitchen. You don't need to sit on my lap. I'm getting out of the car, but he's stealing my seat, guys. He's going to try driving away. Anyway, let's head inside. 
right guys, well unfortunately I'm pretty sure we just waited in here for 10 minutes. It really felt like 10 minutes. If it wasn't, it definitely felt like it. We got our order. Let's head across the uh, parking lot, essentially, to the hotel. All right, guys, on our way across the parking lot, we already got our next Grubhub order lined up. It said Fujiyama is $12 for like seven miles, going kind of towards the entrance of energy. So we're going to go pick that up next, guys, after we get this done. All the way to the fifth floor, huh? To the very tippity top. keeps not registering, my phone's internet keeps shutting off, which is not helping me at all on these deliveries. I'm worried they're going to think I'm putting it where they can't track me, and I'm going to get a freaking contract violation again, man. Freaking shit. The customer just sent me a text as I'm walking out the door. I'm in the lobby. It's like, your delivery instructions said to leave at your door, so that's what I did. So. And then I was like, oh, no. The lady saw me and was like, hey, did you do you still have it or did you leave it upstairs? I was like, I, I left it upstairs. <laughs> Guys, they're doing construction. This is the entrance to the lobby. I had to go in through the side door where they have a makeshift entrance. So why would she be waiting in lobby? How am I supposed to meet her at that door? Think about it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just drifting mm -hmm. along the road. That's cool. It's snowing. Look our best. Remember, dears, first impressions are the most important. Shoot tight, shoot tuck. Be nervous. Right? Remember, you're in England, land of good manners. Uncle Toodles. It's snowing! <laughs> and I only have sandals. This isn't pretty. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> you can borrow my shoes. Yeah, I like that one happens. Alright guys, got that dropped off. Now we're heading over to Fujiyama's. Pick this order up. Make another 12 bucks. Whew, it is cold, guys. Alright, our order was ready when we got in there, luckily. Head over, get this delivered. Whew. Guys. We just turned out of Fuji's and we're heading towards this delivery. My app goes off and I'm starting to get another order. I look at my screen and it says $17. Ooh, that's nice. Where are we going? Blended tea and crepe in Carbondale for 30 miles one direction. I'm going to have to drive back another like 30 miles. Like, no, dude. <laughs> I'm good. It's at 7.56, and it tried getting us to take the 30-mile order. It tried getting us to take a uh, $14, 18-mile order, but we declined that as well. We're going to head back towards Marion and hope for something a little better in Marion. All right, guys, it's 8.02. We just got an Oach Hurley's. It was three miles for uh, $7, so we're going to pick this up. And if it keeps up like this, guys, there's definitely going to be snow tomorrow. My sandals aren't going to cut it. <laughs> Man, my, my damn sandal keeps messing up, dude. Freaking pissing me off. Well, guys, it's 821. It hit me with the uh, 17 almost 18 dollar 
18 mile order on Thai taste in Carbondale. I was actually getting ready to turn it in for the night, but I'm gonna go drop this off or pick this up and drop it off real quick. All right, Thai taste order was ready. Go figure. I mean, they're closing in five minutes. <laughs> But the order was ready when I got here, guys. I might be able to get this in the car on this side without getting hit. Cutting it close, but we did it. Alright, guys. It just offered us a China Walk order for seven dollars six miles but like four of those miles is getting back from this other delivery so we're gonna drop this off and then head over there while we're here we might as well uh, make a little this more this truck is just okay i thought they were closer now and the uh, truck's fine I mean, look at this dead-end one-way road at us come down, guys. There's a literal wooden bridge covered in snow. Ah. Oh my, windshield wipers went off. Anyway, guys, it's 9.08. We just arrived at China Walk here in Carbondale. Can someone answer this question? How come DoorDash will give $5 peak pay when the roads are clear, bad weather is inbound, but all they're doing is dropping salt everywhere? It's not here yet. But yet today, look, the bad weather is here. There's snow on the ground. Every time I turn, my car is slipping and sliding, but they give me $1 peak pay. What's that about? There you go, guys. Guys, my home screen is a campfire in the dark, so all you see is a fire pit with blazes and ember, embers. And she asked me if it was snowy and I said, oh yeah, it's so cold out there, I changed my home screen so I could help, so it would help me stay warm. And then I showed her my phone <laughs> with the fire. <laughs> she thought it was funny. Really, I was one second from hitting confirm pickup and I would have got the full $7. But you know, whatever, I got the food, it's in the car, it sends me a message. It says the order was canceled. <laughs> well, all right, man. I got paid three dollars. Anyway. I got some free China Walk, guys. I just got another order for China Walk, and yeah, I'm ready to turn it in for the night, honestly, guys. But the freaking order just popped up thirty-four dollars, going seventeen miles back to Marion, which has China Walk. But you know, whatever. They don't have it on Grubhub. I don't think I've never got a Grubhub for that China Walk. Well, I don't know what's in this bag. But I'm going to hand it to my wife and let her find out. She'll do the inspection while I'm inside getting this next order. See if we scored big or not. <laughs> Be fucking serious. It just said the order was canceled. Dude, that was $34. 17 mile. Come on, I'm at the store. It was going to Marion where I'm going. And it just canceled itself. Fuck me, man. And then it offered me another China Walk that was $7, 5 miles. The exact same thing as the one that got canceled in the first place. Fuck, dude. Fuck that. $34, man. Come on. What's the chances? To, why are they canceling them? What the fuck's going on? I was thinking about freaking abandoning this one. It's $8, 2 miles. What the fuck is going on, dude? I'm probably going to have to wait here forever for this. I was like, what happened? Why'd the order get canceled? She said that uh, the customer called them immediately and was like, I didn't know it was so late. This is a big order. Go ahead and cancel it. <laughs> Come on, man. 34 bucks. Well, this one's not canceled. It's $8, two miles. She said she was going to cancel this one, too, but... Uh, that's so weird. She canceled the other order after I already picked it up. She canceled that other one, and then she was talking about canceling this one. But she's like, oh, I'll let you do it because you're already here. It's like, well, why'd you cancel the other one then? It doesn't make sense, man. Whatever. Freaking 34 bucks. Yeah, I wanted that order so bad. I'm going to Marion. I want to go home. <laughs> All right. 
got a little confused on this one. It dropped the pin at the entrance of this road, but it's down the road a little bit, but we found it. At least they gave a description because they anticipated that it would lead me astray. Now i got to climb some stairs that are covered in ice. Okay, you guys hold the bag. I'm walking slow. Underneath me. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, we ended up getting on our way here an order for Papa John's for like $17 or something going towards Marion. So, thank God. We're going to go pick that up. Alright, guys, it's 9 36. We just pulled up Papa John's. Let's head inside. Check the damage. I still can't believe we had freaking two canceled orders in a row, man. What's the freaking odds? Well, there it is, guys. Ready when I got in there. I'm gonna zip this up and get going. It's 9.39, guys. We just got a freaking order at Fazoli's and Marion coming back to Carbondale. 22 or $24 for uh you know what 20 miles or whatever but man we gotta it's, they're gonna close there's no way we're gonna already. be there yeah there's no way we're gonna be there by 10 no way well guys i mean if we get all the way to marion and then we have to cancel this order between the three cancellations and this order i'm currently delivering i think we'll be at our 34 dollars so i mean <laughs> should be good guys should be good Cancel this as always. I mean, go figure. They'll cancel my $34 order, but they're not going to cancel the order at Fazoli's when the freaking store is going to definitely be closed by the time I get there. Whatever. Curious how much they'll pay me for the drive home. <laughs> That's all I'm doing is driving home. Mm -hmm. It's 10.15. We just arrived at Fazoli's, canceled our order, and uh, it paid us $7. So... You know what, guys? Like I said before, we got our $34. One way or another, guys. We got our $34. You know, we are heading home for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed the day. I will show you my totals here in a second. Have a good night, guys. All right, let's go over the numbers, guys. On Grubhub, we made 197 cents. And then on DoorDash, as you can see, if you look down, we made $7 from one shift and $38.25 on the other. So we're going to add all that together for $146.22 and then divide by six hours, and that's $24.37 an hour. And let's not forget our free Chinese dinner. Looks good, doesn't it?